around our community this morning. Paintings, sculptures, mosaics, they all have one thing in common. They're what's on display at the Robert Ray Art Gallery in Algoma. The art collectors are hosting a special exhibition that will, you will not want to miss. Local 5's Calvin Lewis is live in Algoma to show us what we can expect, Calvin. Well, Sally, Caitlin, good morning to you both. I've been sort of like a kid in a candy store here this morning because uh, we've been inspecting and getting a behind the scenes look at all of this fantastic and beautiful art that is part of the Water Dance Project here at Robert Ray Art Gallery in Algoma. Joined alongside Dale here, one of the owners. And Dale, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yes, thanks for stopping in today. Absolutely. So we are actually in another portion, believe it or not, of the gallery. Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here this morning. So this is from the Water Dance Project, um, works by Bonita Budish and Robert Baker. Um, in this uh, exhibition, there's a total of 70 works that are uh, on exhibition here. Um, we had the artists uh, select 70 out of the 100 uh, works that they created uh, to have here in the exhibition. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I, was going to, I was going to mention that not only um, are the works here, but they're on our website. Uh, we understand in this age of coronavirus that people are concerned about going out and shopping. Uh, so the exhibition is virtual. Uh, it's going to be here in person for the next couple of weeks. And then we'll have the show uh, online uh, through the end of October. That's fantastic. Yeah, another alternative method for people to check out this beautiful artwork. Um, I, I did want to ask you as well, there's also going to be a portion of proceeds going back to a certain cause with uh, some of this artwork in particular, is there not? Uh, yes, so we and the artists um, are interested in water conservation efforts. And so we've selected three organizations uh, to donate a portion of the proceeds to. Um, that includes the Friends of Crescent Beach, the Woodland Dunes Nature Center, and the Door County Land Trust. So after the sale of the works here, some of those uh, proceeds will go to those, those uh, um, do uh, organizations. That's fantastic, yeah. And so uh, I, and a large part of this gallery is obviously highlighting those artists. And a lot of them come from the local area as well, Green Bay as well as Manitowoc, right? Uh, yes, we represent um, individuals from uh, really across the state of Wisconsin and some other Midwest um, um, artists. But uh, you're correct, we have uh, folks here from uh, Green Bay, uh, Rhinelander, Manitowoc, um, Green Bay, uh, Milwaukee, uh, and on and on. <laughs> exactly, yeah. All right, just wrapping up here real quick, I'm going to put you on the spot. Which one of these paintings is your personal favorite? <laughs> and this can even come from this wall as well. In this section, I would have to say the Hickey Brothers painting. OK. The one with the red dot on it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that, that one really pops out to us, actually. Mm -hmm. so. yes. yes. Good choice. Good choice. If I'm not, I'm not going to select one because there's way too many. So there, there are we'll, definitely a lot to choose from. Yes. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So all right, Dale, well, thank you so much for joining us here yes, this morning. Thanks, really thanks appreciate coming, it. Uh, coming here this morning. Absolutely. So the Water Dance Project happening right here at the Robert Art at Gallery in Algoma, uh, taking place until about October 18th. And as Dale mentioned here, you can check it out virtually as well over on their website, which you can find on our website at wearegreenbay.com. A lot of really cool exhibits. Yes, thank yeah. you very much, Calvin.